107 News. with an open-air rally of music, of speeches, of people coming together. Do you know why? Because we believe in music and creativity as well as the ideas for the future. And I want to say a big thank you to all of you for the support you give to Labour, the support you gave in the general election last year, and the support that I personally have had during a lot of attacks from the mainstream media. Thank you very much. But I tell you what, the more those people come after us, the stronger we are. But think of it another way as well. Yes, we're put under pressure. Yes, there are people people together to defend living standards, bringing people together for an investment-led future that John McDonnell outlined to you a few minutes ago, because that is what the Labour way is about. Yeah, now then, you look at uh, what's happening in so many different parts of this country. Austerity since 2010 has driven another 400,000 children into poverty, has forced head teachers in schools to make awful decisions. Do they cut a subject in the secondary school? Do they get rid of a teacher? Do they sell some land? That doesn't help our young people's education. Their underfunded health service thinks in some cases they can close the funding gap by selling off building and selling off land. No, the answer has to be this. Look at the levels of inequality in our society. The growing numbers of poor people, the growing numbers of poor children, the growing numbers of rough sleeping homeless. Then look at the other end. Those that put their money into tax havens and take the profit from those tax havens, those that have fleeced and ripped off our public sector by privatisation of energy and privatisation of water. I just say to everyone, think of how we can do things differently. A Labour government coming into office committed to ending the gender pay gap, committed to closing the income gap, committed to bringing water into public ownership, bringing mail into public ownership, bringing rail into public ownership. And I'll tell you what, we're not stopping there because it's about democracy as well. We're not going to create great corporations with some to defend human rights, democracy, and bring be a voice for peace around the world. That is why those great people that founded our movement, those great people that struggled against enormous odds in the last two centuries to bring about the kind of strength and organisation that we've got in trade unions and in the Labour Party brought all those things possible for us. Now, my friends, let's dedicate ourselves absolutely to taking that message, decency, justice, social justice, socialism, out there on the streets all around this country and say to the Tories, we are many, you are few. We are for the many, you are for the few. That is why Labour is so strong. That is why Liverpool is so strong for Labour. That is why that fantastic creative energy that's here in Liverpool and here around
around this country can be unleashed by Labour. Thank you very much for coming today. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support for Labour. those great people that struggled against enormous odds in the last two centuries to bring about the kind of strength and organization that we've got in trade unions and in the Labour Party brought all those things possible for us. Now, my friends, let's dedicate ourselves absolutely to taking that message, decency, justice, social justice, socialism, out there on the streets all around this country and say to the Tories, we are many, you are few. We are for the many, you are for the few. That is why Labour is so strong. That is why Liverpool is so strong for Labour. That is why that fantastic creative energy that's here in Liverpool and here around this country can be unleashed by Labour. Thank you very much for coming today. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support for Labour.
proud to be back home in the city of my birth. <laughs> you know, you can take the Scouser out of Liverpool, but you can't take Liverpool out of the Scouser. And it's good to be back home when Liverpool just won 3 0 as well. Well, I wish Everton well as well. Yeah. Every time, every time Jeremy came to Liverpool, in the first leadership campaign, in the second leadership campaign, I hope, I hope these aren't going to be every bloody year, quite honestly. But also then in, the, then in the general election, in Liverpool, we had the biggest turnouts for literally in recent political history tens of thousands of people to come and listen to Jeremy. Why? Because like all of you, Jerry Ma Jeremy and I, I don't want to live in the sixth richest country in the world and at the same time there are 5,000 of our fellow citizens out there sleeping on the streets. In the sixth richest country of the world there are a million people now as a result of Tory cuts who are not receiving the social care they need. They're largely elderly, they're isolated, they're suffering and they're vulnerable. In the sixth richest country in the world. Fuck the Tories! They introduced, they introduced, they introduced policies that targeted disabled people and have pushed many of them from the research from Liverpool University 500 into taking their lives. We're not willing to tolerate that anymore, are we? <laughs> so the solution is this. The solution is a Labour government but a Labour government which fulfils our dream. And that dream is this, a socialist in number 10. Yeah. And, and if he makes the right appointment, hopefully a socialist in number 11. <laughs> that was a job application. I'll tell you what we're going to do when we go into government. Yes, we're going to transform. We're going to transform our society. First of all, we're going to make sure that all those people on waiting lists, the people who are now 70,000 children growing up in temporary accommodation because they haven't got a permanent roof over their heads, and yes, those 5,000 sleeping on the streets. We're going to make sure they're housed. How? By building a million new homes. And we're going to be proud to call most of them council houses again. But you know, when it comes to it, we're going to ensure our national health service is not just properly funded, but when we put money into the NHS, we're not going to tolerate that money going in the front door and then going out the back door into the pockets of Branson and all the other profiteers. We're going to end PFIs. No more PFIs. It's good to be back home in the city of my bring them back. And you know, when we go into government, we've made it absolutely clear and all the press all the media opposed it, and yet they're some of the most popular policies we've advocated. We're going to bring back into public ownership and control rail, water, royal mail, energy. We're going to we're going to end the era of our people being ripped off by these privateers and profiteers. And you know as well, we should not tolerate in our society that people have to survive 
survive just to feed themselves and their children by going to food banks. 1.3 million food parcels handed out last year. I congratulate the food banks for what they do. But in a civilized society, they should not exist. Yeah. And you know, the reason they exist, the reason they exist is because out there we have four million children living in poverty. Two thirds of them are in families where someone's at work. What does that tell you? It tells you wages are so low that people cannot survive on those wages. So we're going to introduce, in that first Queen's speech, a real living wage. Ten pounds an hour. And you know, you know as well as I do, the best way of securing a decent wage, the best way of protecting yourself at work, is join a trade union. So when we go into government, we will scrap the Tories' trade union, anti-trade union act. We will scrap it in the first hundred days. We're establishing a, a Department of Employment. That Department of Employment will be responsible for it, returning this country to collective sectoral bargaining. What does that mean? It means you have a trade union negotiating decent rates of pay. Do you know, we're not asking for the earth. We're asking for a government that simply abides by the law. The international labour organisation conventions that should apply across the globe. And in that way, we will raise people's standard of living. They ask me, how are we going to afford all this? Where is the money coming from? It's coming from a fair taxation system. Yes, in our last manifesto we made it clear that we would, yes, we would increase the income tax on the five, top 5% five of earners. You know, not an awful lot would in all they made their contribution. We'd also, well, we'd end the tax cuts to the corporations and we'd reverse not all of them but most. Because those tax cuts to corporations were meant to encourage investment. And yet those corporations are now sitting on 700 billion of earned income not invested. And yes, we'll introduce what some of us have been campaigning for for nearly a lifetime. A Tobin tax, a financial transaction tax on the City of London speculators. And I tell you this, I tell you this. We debated and we discussed and we published an enforcement and transparency program for taxation. And we said, the rich and the corporations, you will pay your taxes. We will end the tax avoidance and tax evasion that takes place on an industrial scale. When they, some of you know, during the general election, they accused me of having a magic money tree. I found it. Exactly right. I found it. It's in the Cayman Islands. We're going to dig it up and bring it here. Yeah. On that basis. On that basis, we'll be able to fund the NHS, fund the education, fund the education our children need. But also, we'll also make sure that our kids, when they do everything asked of them, stay on at school, do their A-levels, get their grades, go to university, and no longer have the burden placed upon them. On average, 57,000 pounds. We will scrap tuition fees. And we're, we're now preparing, we're now preparing for the next general election for whenever it comes. Up until now, I've been pessimistic that the Tories will cling on to office right to 2022. I don't think that's going to happen anymore. <coughs> because now it's interesting. Most of the commentators mentioned it as well. The Tories hate each other now more than they hate us. <laughs> so I believe that they could fall apart at any time and we've got to be ready whereas this autumn or next spring we've got to be ready to go into that campaign and win 
and we've got to be get ready to go into government as well. But I tell you this, this will be like no other Labour government or any government. This isn't about sending a group of MPs off to take ministerial positions and that's it. When we go into government, we all go into government. We, we now have over half a million members, the largest political party in Western Europe. The trade unions are growing again. We are now a mass social movement. And we're proud to say that movement is a socialist movement. So I just urge you now, I just say this, if you're not a member of the Labour Party now, join. Join. We need you. We need you. If you're a member of the Labour Party, make sure you're active. Make sure we're on every campaign, every picket line, every demonstration, because now we need to mobilise on a scale we've never seen before. Because the challenge is so great, it means the opportunity is so great. We have the opportunity of creating what many of us have campaigned for, another world, another world is possible. I believe now, with Jeremy Corbyn as leader, Another world is in sight. <laughs> Comrades, brothers and sisters, thanks for coming tonight. A great friend of ours, John, absolutely, absolutely brilliant character. Always supports Jeremy Corbyn wherever he goes. I had the privilege of going to the Owen Smith meeting of 20 people a couple of years ago. <laughs> And I'm sure the press will make out there's not many people here, but I can't see the end of the crowd. As the ferry leaves the pier head there, what an absolute brilliant setting. Look at the background, look at the Cunard building, the Lava buildings. What a city this is. City about solidarity. And this is what this song's all about. This one's called All Together Now.
107 News.